All right, and we are back. Here is the entry number 10, I believe, for the latest album from Al Riggs called Ganglion. Now, I don't remember how I first heard about Al Riggs. I think I just saw one of uh, one of their tweets sort of pass my, uh, like, my, my Twitter feed or something, and I was like, oh, they're also a musician, so, you know, gotta check them out. And, uh, so, and, so, you know, naturally I did, and I, and they were like, oh, there's a new album that I'm releasing coming out soon, and I'm like, okay, that's cool, and, uh, yeah, I decided to check it out. Uh, it's about eight tracks long, 30 minutes, and, you know, it's a pretty chill experience. Like, uh, the first time I listened to it, I was very tired, so, you know, this, it's a, it's, it's a very relaxed sort of mood, very, uh, very, I, I don't know how to explain it. It sounds a lot like the national if there was a lot less polish to it maybe uh except there are also a lot of very personal themes to uh al such as um their uh the title track for instance called not title ta track the track called asperger's which uh i believe just sort of talks about the general experience of Asperger's and possibly some of Al's uh, involvement with it as well, it's talking about how it's not anything to be treated, it's something to, you know, just have, express, and, you know, yeah. And as someone with Asperger's, you know, that sort of spoke out to me in a way. I mean, it's, it's, you know, I feel like it's a very important song to me, in a sense. Um, I mean, there are also a lot of songs where, oh, what was that one that was, like, the one about the country billboards and how they are like, I remember seeing them talk about a Twitter, on Twitter about the song, talking about how it was, like, a band of kids, I think, living in a series of, like, billboards out in the country and use, like, the vantage point to shoot cops or something like that. And, uh, yeah, so, um, and also there are a lot of themes around, you know, the LGBT scene and things of that nature. Honestly, I didn't really give it that much of a look through before this, so I apologize. But, you know, uh, production-wise, it's a very chill sort of experience all throughout. It's mostly a lot of slower, um, a lot of slower, like, acoustic songs. Like, the acoustic guitar is very centrally focused throughout this record. And there are, there are usually some other forms of instrumentation, but it usually doesn't take away from the center that is the acoustic guitar. It's a very, I don't know, it's, it's good for like, I feel like this album's really good to listen to on like a very lazy day. Mostly because that's kind of what I had whenever I was listening to this project. So yeah, I would definitely recommend checking it out. Uh, it's, again, it's a pretty short listen, and I think it has a lot of, you know, interesting concepts behind it. Uh, Production-wise, you know, it's, oh, I mean, nor composition-wise, I wouldn't say it's, I don't know. Uh, it's, again, I think it's just good to, something to, like, consider while, yeah, it's, yeah. But, uh... Yeah, I think that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you want to join me on this album a day journey, you can like and subscribe. Uh, I'll have my schedule down in the description so you can see what's up next. Uh, I know this is a mess. I'm so sorry. 
But, uh, yeah, thank you so much, and this has been part of the memes, and I'll see you tomorrow.